Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzel. I'm in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art, Fluid Art Studio. That is a bunch of colors. <laughs> Some vivid intense mixed with other things like, I don't know, frosted, prism pour, and uh, this one's got ultramarine blue and phalo, phalo green in it, believe it or not. Anyway, so I'm going to put some of these colors in this dish because I need it. I have a 12 by 24 inch canvas that I want to do chain pull on tomorrow, but I want a smooth, dry background. And I thought I would do the edges before you got here, but what I've decided is to try and do some of the edges now and use the rest of my colors to do the top and the bottom. And I gotta read what that is. That has got to be a custom made color. I don't know what that is. Pale blue should probably, I should be able to tell you in the description. I know there's got to be some dioxazine violet in this, but I guess it isn't. I guess it's what I said it was to begin with. So I've got some prism pour, I believe it's a prism pour, and it's called sky blue. It could be a primary element. You might want to check. Check for sky blue. Then I'm going to throw in a little bit of frosted berry, just because I can. The same with the Chantilly lace. Because if it was on the canvas, it might leave a resist behind, but since it's in the dish, it won't. This is a little bit of black iris. So far, I haven't got any colors that'll make mud yet. This is some wild orchid. So what am I going to do with this? I'm going to try and put that on the edges and try not to spill any of the paint that I took the lids off of that I might want to use in a minute. So I'm going to grab an OXO omelet turning flip and fold spatula, move this, and I'm going to dip my spatula in. don't usually do this, but I'd like to have my edges covered before I start doing this. And I may just use the rest of that dish of paint to cover things. So that's pretty beautiful. Right there. And if I'm quick enough, which is the point, by the way. If I'm quick enough, then I won't have that line of demarcation across the edge. But I think I can add the same colors to my canvas. And I am going to hit that curve that's right on the edge of the canvas. That's the part that always gives me issues when I'm trying to spread paint and cover the whole canvas. Let's hope I did give myself the right order. I do have a stretcher bar on the 12 by 24 inches, so it makes it handy. You won't have that if you have a smaller canvas. So you'll have to take that into consideration. I love my colors. And I'm almost covered. Let's run it up the edge of the back. And I don't think it makes that much difference if I'm going to use the similar colors or not. Now I'm going to take what I've got, which I do appreciate. The one color I didn't use that I'm going to probably use is going to be some pink, like pink diamond. I just realized my studio door is open and the cat is probably walking around freely. I really like putting paint in the dish and then putting it on the canvas. We'll see how I feel about that in a minute. So I'm going to put some Chantilly lace. Usually I wouldn't put it on the canvas unless I wanted to have a resist. But since I have paint on there, I'm going to try and put it right on the paint. Just anything to make my, give me more paint. This is some Midnight Shadow, which might help me with my bottom half in a minute. Here's some more Hot Orchid. Excuse me, Wild Orchid. I'm going to use some of this. This is Frosted Berry with, uh, I believe it's Cobalt Aqua. Vivid Intense in it. 
and I do not have a problem using it all up except for the fact that I probably should have thought about that a moment ago and grabbed a smaller spatula except for this one worked pretty well in fact now if I'm quick oh some of the frosted berry shimmer has gone to the bottom I don't think I stirred this up well but I don't really care this is looking a little bit like a mess, but you know, that's the way a lot of paint pouring starts, is looking a little bit like a mess. I'm going to throw that right in the bucket. I'm going to give myself... Oh, I've got some custom plum blossom, which is some Chantilly lace, some abalone, <laughs> some Chels Chalcedony, I believe it is, C-H-A-L-E-C-D... A-N-Y, Cal said me. I think I got it wrong a bunch of times. And um, some, what's it called? It's the rose one. The rose one I keep forgetting. Rhapsody Rose. Why do I forget that? It's like my favorite color. Now, I think a little bit more of the black orchid. Excuse me, the black iris. Yeah, get your self together, woman. And then come back in with some more of the frosted berry. I just need to have enough paint on the canvas. So I'm thinking, what am I going to put in? Oh, I saved out some black raspberry, which is prison pour. This is uh, this is the jasmine. It's primary element. And it, it's bound to take over everything. I'm loving my patterns, by the way. So I'm going to go a little easy. This is the black raspberry, which is a prism pour. And I really want to put some more Chantilly lace down right on top of some other colors so I get the benefit of the fluidity of it. And then we're just going to go to town. We're going to try and go to town. Make sure I have enough room for everything. Okay, whenever I pick up paint, I'm also going to put down paint right over there. Or right on the other side. The fewer strokes I make, the more interesting the stripes will be. The more strokes I make, the more likely it is to become a little mucky. Now I did run through that midnight shadow at the bottom on purpose because I kind of want to drag some of it right down into the canvas base area right now. But I should have taken into consider, I should have uh, touched that edge down there with some paint too. Fortunately if it's a dark color I can probably Jury rig it. What's the better word for that? Nothing. <laughs> I pay attention when I have a stroke and I know what colors are on my spatula. Those are the colors I want to bring to the next place. I may have to move more things out of my way than I want to. And it does not matter if I'm dripping because I'm just going to continue with the same process. And sometimes accidents make it more interesting. Oh look, chemtrails. Well, it does look like I have enough paint and I will just continue on to the bottom with any extra that I happen to have. Because I can always go over it and add things that might look more like mountains if that's my desire. top already. I don't need to be concerned with that. I do need to get some coverage up there though. It's a good sky. Keep moving bottles out of my way. That may help me. Now remember this is just the background.
keep seeing that one white edge. It's kind of bugging me. And I'm hoping my head isn't obscuring everything. And I do like the crossing, the colors crossing over and back. The more riotous it looks, the better I like it. I think it's going to be a whole bunch of, a whole field of orange and yellow flowers. Whatever paint I've got coming off, I can definitely utilize right there on that edge. And I can go back up along for the most part. That's not bad. I don't mind that. Got one funky mark in there. I may go back in at the bottom and put something that resembles a mountain range in, but that, that's what that midnight shadow is supposed to look like. And I'm just going to keep stealing paint from up here. Changing up the pattern, going back and forth. Because as long as the paint is still wet and viable to move, I'm going to move it. I don't want anything that looks like a hard edge on the edge. It's not always easy to avoid though. Like there. And there. It's hard to know when to stop, honestly. And you gotta pay attention to what you see. So you take your opportunity to change things when you not when you must. It looks like twilight breezes to me. Don't be afraid to leave funky marks behind because that's what nature's all about. Alright, so I've got my sky is mostly cohesive or is cohesive. Look at what I just did. Just a nice, smooth, even pressure. And stop before you get glop that's when you'll start to be stuck with stuff you don't want. Alright, so I've got some paint at the bottom. Just about enough to cover everything, in fact. And that's my opportunity. Don't need any more orange. Don't think I need any more purple. I think I'm going to put something like Royal Sapphire in there. Give it a bit of a shake first. Royal Sapphire. Maybe some more of that um, Black Iris. Definitely some more Midnight Shadow. I think a little bit of the Deep Amethyst. I think I'm going to go out on a limb and add a little bit of this Prism Pour Winter Green. And some of the Fandango. Just try and swipe across as freely as I can force myself to. No, don't dig down to canvas. <laughs> I think if I want something dark on this side, I'm going to have to add it. Darker still, I'm going to have to make it the midnight shadow. That was... I really want to throw a little bit of um, either Nickel Azo Gold... Oh, and it's closed. Never mind. What have I got? I've got Quinacridone Nickel Azo Gold by Golden. And I'm 
hoping that it'll be okay. That's my that's my three minute warning. So I do sell my artwork. I'm looking forward to adding chain pulled flowers to this. I might have to touch up my edges a little. It looks like I've got quite a few drips, but they're still wet enough for me to manipulate with my finger. I think I see something right in the middle though. I don't know if it's a bubble or an object, but it's gone now. And my bottom's looking okay. Pretty simple. I might put some tree shapes in there. You know what I've got? I've got the, th the uh, finger from a glove, like a balloon roll. But I'm just pretending that there are some trees in here right now by dabbing my spatula because I think that's going to work every bit as well as what I was talking to you about. But I don't think it's going to hurt anything to add some textures in the background because the flowers are going to go right over the top of it, whatever it is. So I love you guys. You want, I want you to take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Come back again. I post at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Most, most days for right now. I love you much. You inspire me always. I like that big pink cloud in the middle of the sky. That's pretty awesome. I like dumb, dumb luck. I'm going to try and uh, clean off my spatula onto the bottom edge of the canvas and blend in my edges and I'm going to try and zoom out enough so you can see all of that which is not a horrible painting all in itself I would have to say it took me a while I thought it would I do have paint dripping down. You want to keep, you want to wipe off your drips because it'll keep pulling more paint off. And uh, you can use your finger to rub things in. I don't know what I'm going to do about that side over there exactly. That side right there. I am as zoomed out as I can be. And you can see some, but not all. So I'm truly sorry about that. I love you guys. There will be a better picture in the thumbnail, I guarantee. And I'm probably going to grab another spatula and utilize those drips that are coming down across the top to smooth them out and make them evenly applied everywhere that I can manage. As long as the paint isn't completely gloppy, it's still, I'm still motivated to move it into a good position. Oh, I've got all kinds of edge that I have to cover down here. Fortunately, I've got another spatula. Okay, so that's my one minute morning. And I will see you guys anon. And I'll say goodbye for now. This is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida. Check my link tree. Look for the coupon code for Color Art Products. If I can help, oh, that was a mistake. If I can help you guys, I will. Wrong spatula. I was trying to cover my edge. Fortunately, I have some practice, and that'll have to do. All right. <laughs> I, whatever I forgot to tell you is everything on my link tree is cool to, to, to check out, but you might want to check out my brand new website I'm working on all the time. Right near my old website. Well, that's cool. Alright, I'll see you guys anon. Priscilla out. Bye for now. I'm going to try and fix my edge up. Slowly but surely, if you're still here.